In each man's life, there will be a moment. A moment so big. Holy shit. Oh shit, that's man, I can't get this. <gasps> So important, so monumental. Oh, let's go! It's from our chase. Let's go! That's nothing. Then you better squeeze, Fred? squeeze until you Fred? can't squeeze no more. Because just like this, so that bad. moment let's could be gone. Go. So when that moment approaches, Wait, everything, everything, Leonard Williams, say out. Oh, oh squeeze God. with everything you've got, Jerry, Jerry, the fucking because God. you might. Not to get another! Oh! What are you doing? What am I doing? Why'd I die? Oh my god, that might have worked. James catches. Never let him know your next move! Step in! Let's go! We're coming, Will Greer! LT! Oh! What? What? Sit down! Snows do not have a time! We're gritting on you, bud! For real! Oh my god! Where were you? Where were you when Papa Meek started the Wheel of Month season one and two? Where were you when we didn't give up hope? When we clawed back to the playoffs, smoked the divisional playoffs, and clapped cheeks in the NFC Championship. And take a deep breath and look around you, because where are you now? As we head into our very first Wheel of Mutt Super Bowl. Look at it, gentlemen. In all her glory and all her beauty, she is not ours quite yet. You know, that ring's been sitting on my desk ever since the very first episode, looking deep into my soul, making eye contact with me, taking me right to the brink of my, of my, and then she pulls away. Because unless I win today, we don't get our very first ring. Now, I'm not going to sit here and tell you that this season's Wheel of Mutt has been a nail biter. I wish I could. When we were one and two, I was very concerned. But to get a rage quit in the divisional and the NFC Championship is something that has never happened to me in Wheel of Mutt. But quite frankly, it doesn't matter. Because if this Super Bowl episode is the toughest game we have and we lost, then who cares how we got here? It doesn't matter. So I ask for your support one final time. I ask that we lock in for this Super Bowl episode. Heading into the Super Bowl, our squad is looking really, really good. If I could target a position for today's episode, I'd likely want to boost my D tackles. Cam Hayward, Jonathan Allen is just okay. I'd like to get somebody in for Junior Seau. He's a little too slow for me. Also, Pat Pete is kind of mid. Eric Stokes is actually really good. So, could get a corner, could get some D tackles, maybe an MLB too. I could get a punter. I could upgrade kicker. But honestly, the team is very good. And this is exactly exactly why we have only two wheel spins in playoff games now that includes the Super Bowl because I feel like this is the exact amount of spins we need. And don't forget, today's the Super Bowl. So at the start of next episode, you will see a fully wiped team, no matter what happens today, and one new prestige player. Now, Quentin Nelson recently got an 89 overall, so Quentin Nelson could be a decent prestige. Obviously, my front runner right now is Gronk. I love this Gronk card. I would love to prestige him. But Ed Reed, Lawrence Taylor, and obviously Prime time are excellent prestigious too. I won't make my final decision until the start of next episode. The very first spin of the Super Bowl. Gotta be a good one, right? It's the Super Bowl. All right, it's any single player in the game, but it's gotta be a very specific. No way it's D tackle, right? No way it's punter, right? Please stop. Please settle down. Left end? This is such a weird position for me to get because Leonard Williams' big cat is such an absurd left end. He's been like just insanely good. I almost am going to pick up a left end who's good at D-tackle. That's probably the easiest way to do this and then just move him to D-tackle. There's an 88 overall Jadevian Clowney. What if I move Jadevian Clowney to left end and big cat goes to D-tackle? That would be kind of nasty. This is the best left end in the game, so I think I'm going to have to go with him. And then at D-tackle, I put big cat? Uh, it feels weird switching this up in the Super Bowl, but I almost think this is the right call. He does have a D-tackle secondary position, so I'm gonna equip that, and he still gets his run stuffer, aka upgrade, and that run stuffer is nasty. This might have actually been better from the start, because now when people run up the middle or inside zone, he's there to stuff it. Damn! Well, we added a monster in Jadevian Clowney. Leonard Williams' big cat goes to D-tackle one, and Nick Bosa's on the right edge. In the very first spin of the Super Bowl is an 88 overall left end. Come on, baby! Stay hot, stay hot, stay hot, 
stay hot. Oh, maybe. Three of the newest promo packs. So the newest promo packs, we were actually just talking about it. The Gridiron Guardian. Do you gentlemen remember when I was telling you about the challenge wheel and how in the playoffs, the challenge wheel can earn me one of any pack in the store, even if it costs training? Well, this is a perfect example of why we have that in the game. Because right now there is a training pack. The Gridiron Guardian Fantasy Champ. One of two 89 overalls. So this pack guarantees an 89 overall. If I complete my challenge here in the Super Bowl, I can open this pack at the start of next episode. So just keep that in mind for the future. I am not allowed to open this pack for this wheel spin. I'm only allowed to open this bummy little Great Iron Guardian pack, which is actually sad. Sometimes these Noah's promos have like big fantasy packs that are like 115,000 coins. Unfortunately, Great Iron Guardians doesn't. So I just kind of got to get lucky with these pulls. It's a pretty dope animation though. Matt Breida. No, Matt Breida did just have a touchdown in uh, the Giants' depressing loss to the 49ers. Bro, are the 49ers just going to go to the bowl or what? Because the 49ers look so unbelievably good at football, it's frustrating. Andrew Booth, Matt Breida, Trent Brown. There's the odds that we pull something that's actually usable for this team is so low. We'd have to rock an 89 overall. Also, is Bijan Robinson the second best running back in football right now? Nick Chubb's out. Saquon Barkley's out. CMC is number one. Is Bijan Robinson number two? Am I talking out of my ass? Miles Killebrew, Traylon Burke. All right. Yeah, we didn't expect to get anything there, to be honest. A quick two wheel spins. But honestly, there isn't that much we could have done to this team. Kenny Pickett has really taken us to a Super Bowl. And honestly, more than anything, I would say it was on the back of Fred Taylor. Like, look at this Fred Taylor. This card should not be this good. He has 84 speed, 82 excel, 85 change of direction. And he's just a dog. I don't like to prestige halfbacks, but if I was a halfback prestiging guy, Fred Taylor would be up on that list. This is our Super Bowl squad, gentlemen. Our only real addition is 88 Genevian Clowney. And then moving Leonard Williams to D-tackle. So our D-line is beautiful. My corners, I'm not gonna lie, my corners still scare me a little bit. Going into this Super Bowl, we're starting. 85 Patrick Peterson. But he is an 85. 84 speed, 83 XL. Dude, but if there's that team in the week, Tyree Kill over top of him. Oh my God, he's getting cooked. And if Brandon Ayuk's on him, he's really getting cooked. Am I right, guys? Run. And the only thing that's left is the challenge wheel. Like I said, what an absurdly good challenge wheel this would be to complete. If, if we can do it. Oh, fantasy football feeding right here. Our challenge is 12 receptions with one player. Now, I am a bit of a check down merchant to my halfback, but I have never gotten 12 receptions with Fred Taylor. The Super Bowl! We are taking on the Dallas Cowboys. Oh, I'm trying to see his lineup. Who is it that he has right there? Is that Christian Wilkins? Dude, that's the thing with the Super Bowl, man. They don't show you the top threes. Oh, boy. A few moments later. You're actually <laughs> shitting me. You're actually shitting me. There's no way. <laughs> No, it's all I could do. It's all I could do but laugh. There's no way you just gave me a loss. You know what? Let's hope they didn't count that game. Let's hope they didn't count that game. Oh, that's funny, dude. That's funny. I, I'm, I'm in such a good mood that not even this can ruin my mood. <laughs> that's so messed up. Oh, my God. I'm not going to lie. I partially blame my Michigan Wi-Fi. I have such... Oh, shit, can I... Oh, that's so fucked up in the Super Bowl. I'm going into a Mutt Champions game. We talked about it. We said Mutt Champions is better competition anyway. And I'm sick of these kids rage quitting. A DC shouldn't ruin my Wheel of Mutt season. Let's fucking go. I don't care. He's got big boy Megatron, Ramsey, and Bo Jackson, Gronk, Pickett, and Jerry Rice. Three goats on that top three, baby. Come on. Let me start with the kick. Let me start with the kick. Let me start with the kick. Yes, sir. Guys, recently I've seen some weird glitch with the squib kick. I think you do like a really weak squib kick and it like glitches out the... I'm genuinely interested. I've had so many kicks returned on me. No, I think I just did it. I did just do it. Sort of. Sort of. That is the most efficient way to kick off right now, what I just did. First and 10, I'm sending the big boys. Trent Simpson's hovering the center, scaring them out. I'm doing those juke moves that Miles Garrett and Micah Parsons do. He's gonna, oh shit. Oh shit. Big Cat actually got such a good pass rush that he got past Bo Jackson. Is he gonna run the ball again? Is this a, a deuce close stretch or is this bench? Oh my God. Oh, it's play action. Dude, I'm getting cooked. This is not good. Huge hit on Trent Simpson. I like to see that. Oh, I'm pass committing. I probably shouldn't be. Okay, we're good. He's going to go bow. Juke inside, bow. Oh! Stutter step bullshit. He's moving this ball real efficiently, though. This is a run. Let's bring Ed Reed down. Oh, no! Oh, yes! Oh, my God! I pulled Ed Reed out of that zone, but the pressure got 
there so quick that RG3 threw a bad ball. Dude, Pat B didn't even know that ball was coming. He's like, wait, what the fuck? There's a ball? That was bailout central. Hey, look at this though. So now this is a little switch up. I'm running eye form stretch, right? But Gronk's got the pancake on the edge. Dude, they see Vanguard. They think 100% I'm running this football, right? Hit him with the play action. Feed it into Gronk. Throw a fucking interception. God, how is that so boxed? Dude, I thought that that was like the coolest, most obvious throw ever. And Cam Curl ran the route better than Gronk did. He must have shaded outside or something. I thought at least, you know, it'd be a jump ball and Gronk could get in front of it. No, Cam Curl was like, Cam Curl ran the route better than Gronk did. There really was no reason to take that shot other than the fact that I thought it was just so easy. The freest throw. Start out here with a reception to Fred Taylor. Great juke. Hey, I need somebody to have 12 receptions if I want to complete my challenge. Do play action F slide here. I'm actually looking for um, Jerry Rice. If I get time in this pocket. Oh, no, that's his user. I didn't see his user at all. I didn't even acknowledge his user, dude. Did I really come all the way here to do this? Let's get this fucking ball back. He's gonna go with a draw to Bo Jackson, bottled up by our big boys. Nice work. He passed this last time. Yup, pass commit. Let's go. Third and 17, that's huge. That's massive. We needed that so bad. Same thing, different coverage though. I gotta fly to the left side. I gotta fly to 81. Oh, I'm there. Oh, what a route. Oh, that's nasty. I did not expect that. It was like a 15 yard out. It was a 20 yard out. Oh, that was so good. I'm blowing it up though. Oh, it's not a run. See, go bow. Can I get there? I expected a stutter step. He did not stutter step. Dude, what the fuck am I doing? I really made it all the way here to be down 14 to zero in the first quarter of the Super Bowl. I've dug us such a deep hole. But you can always dig out. Damn, what a monster play from that DB. AJ Terrell, let's reestablish the run. Let's remind ourselves that we're, at, we're not actually dog shit in this game. Cause I'm playing like dog shit right now. Third and four, didn't establish shit right there. Fred Taylor drops it right there. That was on the first down line. He's got 51 catching. I can't be mad that he drops the football. It's not, man. I don't know who I hit. Fucking tackle from prime time. I'm gonna use her prime time and I'm just gonna cover that. I'm gonna let my defense clamp this shit. Holy shit, fourth and goal. I don't know, dude, what the hell was that play call? I have no idea. Just starting a lead dive up the middle. These blocks were questionable. We need a push, gentlemen. Good push that time. At least a decent push that time. To the point where maybe we're gonna get some yards. What? what kind of glitch blitz is that? What are you doing there, CTX? What are you doing there, buddy? The fuck are you doing? <sighs> Don't tell me this is still a game. Don't tell me after all this shit, after playing like utter dog shit, after making it to the Super Bowl to play like this. Don't you tell me this is a game. Don't you let this be a game. You just gotta punt. Freddy boy. Oh my God. He was like three run plays away from literally ending this game. Just run it, chew that clock out. It's 16 to zero going into half. I'm fully demoralized. Hey, you better remember how to play offense now. Don't you let me do this. Better go to a run play or something. God damn it! You're gonna let this be a game, huh? You're really gonna let this be a game? It's the Super Bowl, baby! Come on! A minute 35, down by eight, we get ball at half. A perfect execution ends this quarter with us scoring. Don't give up on the run. Do not give up on the run, Matt. He says as he passes. But I gotta get receptions. It's actually a nice catch. That's perfect for our challenge. I'm two for five, 12 yards and two interceptions. Okay, I like that. I like that. Good catch. Fourth and seven. He calls the timeout. Dude, his defense is fucking killing me. I, I, I like, I can't move the ball. I literally, I can't move the ball. 11 to 16. Okay, I'm gonna go with the zone blitz on this one. He's passing. Look for Bo. Interesting. Boundary throw. Keep him in bounds. Way to keep him in bounds. That's huge. I'm gonna go on Bo here. Does he get Bo or out? 
Nothing to worry about. Nothing to worry about. Second and ten. He wants to throw this to Bo so bad. I'm gonna lurk. I'm gonna run to it. I'm all over it. Yup! Yup! He wanted that so bad! Because he's thrown it today a few times for a lot of yards. He got a touchdown off it. I'm just dropping back full coverage. Oh shit, I'm in like a partial man. That was a that is not the coverage I wanted to be in. Shit, I thought I switched that to zone and I didn't. It's exactly what I wanted to be in. I see you, Bo. Don't you throw that. Don't you throw this either. And then he does get to throw to Bo. Shit! He's got a field goal if he wants it. An eight-point game and I get the ball here. I'm glad I took my field goal. Maybe if you want to shank this, that'd be cool. I got to attack this man coverage. Let's fucking attack it. Gronk, I need you to block and I need to sit in this pocket. I need to sit in here and hang out and be patient. Here we go. What the fuck? Did you, just, did you guys just bump into each other? Because that was so fucking open. Oh my God, that was so open. They literally, they slammed into each other. Oh, he's on Montez Sweat. We love that. Dude, what is with this man coverage? Look at this shit. These guys are fucking mirror locking onto me. What is that? Inside routes, outside routes. Everything was supremely bottled right there. Gronk is barely open here. He hangs onto it. What is he doing on man coverage that is dominating me like this? Look at this shit. Oh, DPI. Oh, that's a free play. I should have thrown that deeper. But actually, still got a ton of yards. We decline it to be on the opposite 35. Yes, sir. That That's further down the field, right? I really hope I didn't mess it. Yes, I, I didn't mess that up. We're good. All right. We're finally figuring it out. Dude, this main coverage is killing me. I, I think this whip out of Gesicki should work. Okay. It, it did. It did. I was kind of nervous throwing it that far across the field, but it worked. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Step up, Kenny. Kenny Pickett. Can he fucking pick it? First and goal. I don't think he thinks I have the balls to simply run this. Can I jump over the top here? Franco Harris, give me a little push. Give it to him. Holy shit. Shit, 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 shit. That's fucked up. That's fucked up. That's fucked up. That is not reality. And I don't care. What the fuck? Holy shit. Drug test him right now. Drug test him right. Look at this shit. I dead stopped. Just the Superman, that bitch. We're going for two. Hey, I said it before and I said I'll say it again. You never should have thrown that stupid pick six. This game was yours. It was yours. Fake audible to run inside zone. 19 to 19. A minute 58 in the third. You never. Mm, I'm so fucking pissed at you, CTX. You had this game. This could be a handoff. It's not. I'm here, though. Don't you fucking dare. What a play call. LT's having none of that shit. Oh, Jackson with some help from his lineman pushed forward on that. Third and six, though. Oh, he's nervous now. He's nervous as hell now. I'm guessing pass. I'm blowing this shit up. Oh! I couldn't get off it. I got engaged with that center and I couldn't disengage. Pat Pete's getting cooked over there. Let's go, Trenton. Bo, bo, bo. Get home! Darwin James! Third and ten. Clowny and a spy. Bose just got the low. He's not ready for this. Wow. I have two purples over there. We're shaded outside. How are you letting up a corner route? Now he does run the ball. He's going to throw low. Alec Ingold. Fast as hell. First and goal. I'm just getting torn up right now. Straight up, I'm getting torn up. I have to switch this defense. Okay, let's base a line. He can still run this ball. He can still run this ball. He elects not to. He throws Tangled! And oh my god! They're mm. Is that Derwin James? It's Nolan Smith. Whatever, it's a monster play, is what it is. Oh, timeout. No, I do not like that. I did not like what he just came out in. Does he come out in it again? I'm not run I'm not pass committing. That's fine. Go low. Come on! Good tackle, Prime! Third and goal. No huddle. Oh! Fourth and goal! Even 6-1 is my favorite defense here. Does he run this, though? Does he have the balls to run this? Fourth and goal. Let's go! Box! First and 10 from the two! Come on! You never should have thrown that stupid-ass pick six! I'm so mad at you! In Fred Taylor, we trust. Oh, he pulls forward for that. I do not have my receptions. I'll tell you that right now. Genius. Great throw. Oh, I shouldn't have even stiff arm. He was predicting the cutback. I could have just moved that up field. We just got to get to the second level on 11. We do. Huge. Oh, you got to hold that block on him, but that's okay. Inbounds. Come on. We're so close. 
classic. Gronk comes out for Gesicki. Franco comes out for Gronk. We're gonna go stretch alert bubble. Stretch alert bubble. I technically can throw this. It's not really in the cards though. We don't throw this. We follow Gronk to the fucking promised land. Oh, good defense. Okay, no, we're not taking our foot off the gas now. Let's bring a fucking play out here. This can't go to the two minute warning. Jamar Chase, it's his own! He's got it! He's fucking got it! I don't have to run it here. I don't want to. He knows. He at least believes I'm running it. Gotta clear John Mechie out of there in case Fred Taylor's open. He is. What a ball! Can he pick it, Master Glass? Oh, I'm out of bounds. No, oh, I can't be going out of bounds there. Ball carrier conservative. We need to burn this man's timeouts. Yo! Oh. Come on! Brock, lead the fucking way! Fred Taylor finds a way to bring that positive. Now I want a touchdown. I don't want the field goal anymore. Iso. Take it, take it. So we get the touchdown here. We're safer, but he retains a timeout. I think we can get it. I think we can ISO this bitch. I'm hurdling that bitch. Let's go. Get around it. Fred! Oh, we had it. Damn it, I had it. We got bumped a little bit. Okay, this is still amazing. He can't ice me. It's really nice. I don't think an ice would have mattered from that down distance. Yeah, I got too many yards because I didn't have the opportunity to get another first down. 19 to 22. I'm going to squib this so he's forced to use some clock here. Okay, we're going to go squib right side weak. 19 to 22. Good looking squib. Don't give him any space. Beautiful. Burn three seconds. He's on the 25. We love that. Oh, you got to fucking love that. I got to shade outside for that out route. There's not a damn thing open! 22 seconds left! I'm sending a corner blitz. This is so risky. It got off! No! Oh! The corner blitz! Holy shit, you see the nutsack on this fucking guy? I'm sending Nolan Smith here. Just Nolan Smith. 84 might be open. Okay, nice play. Get there. Fourth and three, 14 seconds left. He's on the 33 yard line. You know it's a pass, play over top. Is there a corner route? That's fine. Picks up his yards, first and 10. Nine seconds on the 45, damn. He technically, he can get in field goal range here. Oh, I'm gonna be so fucking risky here. This is diabolically stupid. I'm blitzing. Oh, the it's ball game! Oh my God! My fucking nuts are so goddamn big! I Holy shit! With the game on the line! Zero blitz! Linebacker up the middle! Holy fuck! Kitty Pickett, dog shit game. 10 for 16, 122 interception. RG3, one touchdown, two interceptions. Fred Taylor dominated. 18 for 84. Receiving Bo is 8 for 72. Fred Taylor's 5 for 3. I didn't even get close to 12 receptions on anybody, but I don't care. Jerry Rice, 4 for 42. Matty Chan, 3 for 61. There are so many highlights to watch. The last play of the game. Zero blitz. Perfect. Look at that snap jump. Look at this snap jump. Fucking read him like a book. And you know what he's trying to throw too. He's trying to throw the bow right here. Or not bow. Yeah, he is. He's trying to throw the bow on this underneath. Bow's going to run that upfield, get out of bounds. He kicks a field goal. We go into overtime. But with no timeouts, getting hammered like this. He's the game's over. That's insane. Look at him. He, he's about to unleash it too. Look at it. He, he pulls his arm back. He's about to fucking throw that thing. He's about to throw that to Bo. Dude, can we talk about this pitiful first half though? This first half was so bad. Center is just getting bullied. I could have thrown the dig, but I barely had time. Look at this. It's where we got sacked. Turn the ball over on downs. Dude, I got to talk about this safety, man. This was whack too. This interception. Or wait, no, no, no. This wasn't whack. This is a horrible throw by me i threw right at his user dude talk about his his man coverage is insane though i gotta give props to like whatever adjustments this dude was making look at how everyone is just so boxed everybody is like stride for stride covered i think jerry would have caught this ball but great user play that was a horrible decision by me this was crazy to me look at this doesn't this look like gronk is open like not super open i guess jerry's pretty open here yeah jerry's got his guy I probably throw sh i should have thrown jerry but look at that i thought gronk had him it's kind of just a bad ball actually because if he leads that to gronk gronk doesn't have to come back down on it dude i need to talk about the same though this is just stupid he is blitzing five to my five my right guard what 
Why would you ever do that? Why would you ever ignore your responsibility? Look at this. So I snapped this ball in fourth and six and boom. I mean, not even a second. Not to mention, there's nobody to throw to. I mean, the routes haven't developed because duh, we didn't fucking block a D tackle. That's just crazy stupid. So for winning the Super Bowl, we get to save these two packs for the start of next episode. And since at the start of next episode, I'll virtually have all silvers. This will be an awesome addition. So at the start of next episode, we'll have Jamar Chase still. He's one of our prestiges. Damn, I'm really hoping the Bengals can start to cook because I need a new Jamar Chase card. And then defensively, we'll still have Derwin James. I expect him to get a card for most feared. He usually does. So we can expect to see a really good new Derwin James coming out soon. And then the 49ers have been amazing. And my third prestige is Nick Bosa. So I'm hoping Nick Bosa will get a card too. So that way our next team can be even better, but also we'll get our fourth prestige. And this is one of those rare years where I feel like I have it fully decided. Like, I think it's just going to be Gronk. In fairness, I don't need to be running armbar on him. It was doing nothing. Um, So we can save some AP and just run the Vanguard, aka upgrade. But I just think this Gronk is so nasty and he'll be good forever. So I, I, I probably stick with this. Guys, what did we say? We said if every game was dog shit, but the Super Bowl was good, it was the only thing that mattered. And that's exactly what happened. I want you guys to know that I love you so much. This is one hell of a wheel of month season. Even if there are some rage quits, I am riding a very, very high high right now. Holy shit. I love you guys. What an immaculate, immaculate game. And I can't wait to see you guys in the next one. Holy shit. Peace.